Yeah, I coached him and, and did that, but shoot, he, I, the guy upstairs did that now. I was just going to say, how difficult is that for a guy to stand in there if he doesn't know, you know, exactly all well, the things Well, he's smart. His football and... IQ is obviously really, really high. And again, the guy's just really, really instinctive. So he's, a, he's pretty special. Nate Transpastor tried out a few positions when he got here, but it seems like he's really found a home with you guys. Uh, you know, talk about uh, where he's at as far as his production goes. You know, he's just got to learn how to work. He's the one guy that, uh, that the light uh, has got to really click on. He has best practice today, but it should be his best practice. Every day he's got to get better, but he's got he's a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. And um, so this heat is probably a little bit harder on him, but that's no excuse. I mean, he's got to, he's got to learn to go and, and go every time. And, and that's kind of that's kind of where it's at. Would you know who your top two guys would be if there were a game tomorrow? Uh, we got a lot of guys that are in the mix. Um, and we pick we could pick uh, pick a lot of guys right now at this point. Are there a lot of different skill sets also that oh, would definitely. impact like whether guys oh, are definitely. using packages? And definitely, and you know, and Pruitt ultimately he decides that, and, and it's kind of based on who we're playing and 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 so forth, kind of the personnel we're seeing. Legitimately, how many guys do you think, like six that you, you will probably like use in terms of at your spot? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of guys that, that have an opportunity right now. Again, you got about uh, probably about probably about six or seven guys who realistically got a shot to um, to play. Are you